how to play with different types of mods from the Steam Workshop. For those players new to the game or aren't familiar with how to play with certain types of mods, this guide will help. Let's go to the Workshop. So once you're on the Workshop, we're going to scroll down and look at the side here. So we have mod type and we have several categories of mods. We're going to go over a few of these mod categories and show you how to access them and play them in game once you've installed them. Campaigns. The first one we're going to cover is campaign. We'll click on that and it will take us to the category for the campaigns. I chose a campaign to demonstrate how to access it and where it's located at in the game and this will be it. So this campaign like any of the campaigns you can install it here by clicking on this button or click on the screen itself. For this particular campaign you have all the information about the campaign here. This is a mod. It is a single player campaign which means you can only play it by yourself and the scenario map is on another map which is from another mod. For this particular campaign these are the mods that are required to play with the campaign and that's all you need. So basically all you need to do in order to play with this campaign is to hit the subscribe button. So just we're going to click on subscribe and as you can see at the bottom here Alright so the download is complete just be sure that you have these required mods you'll see a check mark if you do and what we do next is we start up the Arma 3 launcher. Once you load up your Arma 3 launcher and you've installed something, you should see something like this at the bottom of your screen. This will basically finalize the installation of that particular mod. So we're going to load this mod, which puts it at the top. Now just a note, this campaign requires three other mods. So when you see this red chain here, that means that it's missing. Dependency is missing. So what you do is you click on this arrow here and you go to this chain here. Click on that and it will list all the different stuff that is required. If you're not subscribed to any of these, then you could click on fix the dependencies. Click on that and all these will be loaded. Once they're loaded, then you could just close that and everything is loaded. We're going to load this up and take a look at what it looks like in the game. Once you get onto the main menu of the game, you're going to look at the bottom left and here you have multiple mods that are being used for this campaign. So for the campaign, all you need to do, since it's a single player campaign, you go to single player at the top and then go down to where it says campaigns. You click on that. For the one that we installed, it's going to be this campaign here. So all you need to do is basically just hit continue and the campaign will start and then you can play character so we'll click on check on the box and for this one we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose this mod here bope now this particular mod is it is character equipment and wield and it requires one mod rhs usa f and here's some other information so basically what you're going to want to look for is what does this mod include or any description so it has combat uniforms beret boonies tech vests wc vests patches nissan frontier where do we find this stuff in the game so let's first subscribe to the mod all right the download is complete so you start your arma 3 launcher and what you're going to see is this mod here. Mod Bulb Arm 3 Official was installed. We could just load that mod. And of course, as before with the other one, we need to fix the dependencies. So we'll just go here, fix the selected dependencies. And here we go. All right, let's start the game. All right, as before, you look at the bottom and we have RHS and the boat mod installed. For this particular mod, what you're going to want to do is go to the virtual arsenal. What this is going to add is different types of equipment. So here we are. So the this particular mod has its own icon 
and that's what you're going to look for. Let's see. Sort by mod. And you're going to see the tactical vest black. Let's go back to that one uniform. And that's it. Possible helmets. You got the beret. The boonie. The digital. If we go to the editor itself, we could take a look at if there's anything in the editor for this. And here we are under blue four, where it says Bope. And we have Nissan Frontier. So this is the vehicle. And here is the other vehicle. If you wanted to know what was added, you could just set the search to Bope Arma 3 Mod. And that would be the way to do it. So that's where you're going to find the vehicles. And everything else is going to be in Virtual Arsenal. Compositions. So the next mod type category that we're going to cover is compositions. Here there is no compositions. So you actually have to go down to the composition type. Which is this section here. Let's go to artillery. And we're going to set this to most popular. And then to all time. And we're going to scroll down. And we're going to choose this particular composition. This composition is actually a composition that I created. So as you can see here, the data type, it is composition. And it has a combination of anti-air, anti-tank, artillery. And of course there's tanks too. The dependency is on another mod. The file size is not very big. And if you scroll down, it requires one mod, which is IFA3 AIO. So this has variants of vehicles and tanks and cars. So it's kind of like a collection of assets put together. But basically what we need to know is when I subscribe to a composition, how do I access it or how, how do I find it in game? Now understand that compositions are not mods. They are basically placed assets and they're done through the editor. First, let's subscribe to the composition. And as you can see here, it's done. And we have the IFA3 AO mod installed already. So let's start up Arma 3. You're not going to see any mod being installed or anything in the launcher itself. This particular composition does require IFA3. So we're going to go to my presets and choose IFA3 AO, which requires another mod, Cup Terrain's Core. And we're going to start up the game and I'll show you where this composition is going to be at. Alright, on the main menu, so here we have Cup Terrain's Core and IFA3. So what you're going to do for compositions is you're going to go to the editor. And we're going to basically just choose Virtual Reality. Now all compositions are generally the same in how you access them and how you use them. So for this one in particular, before you place a composition, what you need to do is you're going to go to the top here where it says toggle vertical mode and you're going to click it and make sure that you see that horizontal line across the top there. So once you have that set, you're probably going to want to have toggle surf surface snapping. And then from there, you're going to go to F2 compositions. As you can see, it says compositions. Next, you go down to where it says Custom. You click on that. And then you're going to go to where it says Steam Subscribe Content. And you're going to go down to where the composition that you installed, which is going to be this. So you click on that. It'll attach to your mouse cursor. And then all you need to do is just click. And then the composition will be placed. So this composition in particular adds over 50 
variants of existing vehicles from IFA3 editor extension. So the next mod type we're going to look at is the editor extension. And for this particular one, we're going to set to all time. And we're going to scroll down a little and choose three den enhanced. What this mod does in particular is it's an editor extension. It adds more functions and other aspects to the Eden editor. Let's take a look at this in game. All right, on the main menu, here is the mod that we loaded. And for this, we just go to the editor, we'll go to virtual reality. Now this particular mod, as I said, adds more functions to the Eden editor. There might be some added functions or settings and stuff. So if we go to attributes and go to general, this panel has been adjusted a little bit. So there's a lot more things that you could choose from. A lot more different functions. You have some different tools, expansions of different areas. And if you place a soldier of some type, then you'll see that the menu for the soldier, the attributes has changed. There's a lot more uh, different settings that you could choose and set based on what you are trying to accomplish. Planes. Next category of mods we're going to take a look at is plane. Now for this one, we're just going to choose this new mod here. A1H Sky Raider. So for this particular mod, you have mod, and then it's a plane type. Here's the file size. We're going to subscribe to it. And it requires CBA3, which I already have installed. So this gives the different features, what this mod is, and other information. All right, the mod is installed. What we do now is we just start up Arma 3. This will finalize the installation of the mod. So as you can see here is the mod A1H SPAD was installed. We'll load that mod. And it requires a dependency, which is CBA. So we just go to the chain here and CBA A3. And we'll just fix the dependencies, close that. And we're all set so we'll start the game with that here is the mod that we just installed and cba so for this you could go to two places you can go to the virtual arsenal and for this because it's a plane we'll go to the garage it should be in the garage and then you go to the planes and here you'll see the plane you'll see the plane right here so you can test it out in the virtual arsenal or you can go in the editor itself. For this particular mod, we could just click on the search box and filter the mod. So it's at the top here. And it's going to be under NATO and in planes and Sky Raider. So if we look at where the planes are, they put it under NATO. So we'll put the plane right here. Here's the plane itself. And we could change the vehicle's appearance. I know we can. So we have the UN. Terrains. The next category of mods we're going to take a look at is terrain. What is terrain? Terrains are maps, basically the areas or land that you play on for missions. So there's a lot of different maps. We're just going to choose the most recent one, which is Grave. I'm going to click on this. And so this particular map, this is a mod. This is a terrain. It's like nine megabytes. And it requires these three mods. So we're going to subscribe to it. All right, the train is finished installing. We'll go to Arma 3. 
Alright, mod grave Netherlands was installed. We'll load that mod. And of course it has dependencies. So we'll go to the dependencies. It has three dependencies. So we'll fix that. And here we are. So now we just click play. Alright, as you can see at the bottom the mods are installed. And for terrains, what you do for these is you go to the editor and what you're going to look for is the name of the terrain that you subscribe to which is for in our case it's going to be this one grave netherlands and you just take continue and that loads the terrain that you subscribe to weapons the next category we're going to take a look at is weapons for this one we're going to choose the most recent and then we're gonna scroll down and choose page three. And here's a, a weapon that we're gonna take a look at. We'll choose this. And as you can see at the top, it's a mod. Mod type is character equipment and weapon. It's 146 megabytes. Requires no other mods. We'll sc subscribe to that. Download is complete now. So let's start up Arma 3. So here we have the weapon right here. We just load that. Doesn't require any other mods. And we'll start there. Alright, for this particular mod, it doesn't have an icon to represent that you've installed it or that you have it loaded. So with these types of mods, you can either go to the editor and have virtual arsenal in your mission to access it or you could just go to virtual arsenal here so for this particular mod because it is a weapon it's going to be under the handgun and we could just sort by mod so this guy is going to be right here the 2011 combat master and you don't see that he has it so you just double click it he'll unholster it and this is basically what you subscribe to and with this it looks like it has a couple of attachments that you can attach to it. If you guys now understand how some of these mods are installed, where they're installed and how to access them in the game, hope this guide has helped you and thanks for watching.